this is going to be a banger. I like Bobby Green. I like watching him, but I I wouldn't what I wouldn't tell somebody else to watch him to learn good technique. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's like hands down, chin in the air, like looking for those kind of crafty pot shots as people come in. I mean, you know, he's he's he's, he's effective with it, but I feel like Hatparast is a tighter, more compact, more um, more polished striker. He's got better discipline. I, was, I think Bobby Green sometimes isn't like. When he throws his hand, sometimes I see his back foot drift a little bit, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which means that he's not fully planted. Yeah, he kind of wings shots. Yeah. Bit of a street fighter, bit of a yeah. street fighter style. Now, I was impressed with Hackprast when he fought um, Mark Jacasey because Jacasey's yeah. tall, fast, rangy, very, very skilled. And Hackprast was, was always on his front foot, never, never gave him that space to breathe. And I think he could do that against Bobby Green. He's he's got to be tight with his guard because Bobby Green's going to be swinging from the fences, mm-hmm. and you know he hits with power. I mean, nine knockouts. He's you know he's, he he does crack people clean and hurt them. But I don't know. I think Hat is going to be able to do this. Yeah, he reminds me so much of K- Khalid. Oh, Khalid Taha. Yeah, Taha. Yes. Yeah. 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 Bit, a he's bit, been bit in Kelly his Taha corner as well. Kelvin Gastelum. Yeah, 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 he's like both of them. Yeah, he yeah. has been in his corner as well. So I think that that might be some of the similarities in styles because he says he fights from like Hamburg. Mm. It's probably from that Hammer Gym, Hammerbrook Gym. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I I, I like I like Bobby Green's style because he's entertaining to watch. But but I feel like when he comes up against someone that's got more polished striking than him, he does kind of come apart. And he is always dangerous, but I mean, you, you think back to what Fiziev did to him. That was a you know a unanimous decision loss for Bobby Green, and I feel like Hyperath might be able to push into that range and, and pressure him with the same kind of striking. Maybe not quite as powerful, but yeah, that's what I reckon. I reckon Hyperath's going to do it. Decision win for Hyperath. Yeah, I'll go with the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 